Street Charge is a direct outgrowth of our experience during Superstorm Sandy. The day after that devastating storm, AT&T Chairman and CEO Randall Stevenson flew to New York to survey the damage and to meet with Mayor Bloomberg. We asked the mayor what we could do to help his recovery efforts, and his answer, provide New Yorkers with the ability to charge their devices so that they could reconnect with their friends, their families, their employers. We are proud that these stations are the first of their kind to be deployed across the country. Between now and the end of the summer, our pilot initiative will deploy approximately 25 ATT street charge solar mobile charging devices across the five boroughs, along with the two solar mo mobile charging units that are now live here at Fort Greene Park. Charging units are also available this week at Brooklyn Bridge Parks, Pier 1, Governor's Island, and Pier 1 at Riverside Park and Union Square Park. Over the next few weeks, charging stations will be available in more than a dozen other locations across the five boroughs. One of the exciting things about today is that solar is proving to be not only an economical alternative, but also a convenient alternative. And uh, so the street charge is evidence of that, where we can put it up in street parks. It's totally not tied to the grid. And when we were out there in Sandy and people had no electricity and they had nowhere to go and they wanted to get those phones charged up and be able to talk to their relatives, their employers, to explain why they weren't at work, AT&T came to us and helped us. So it was a natural to then think, this grew out of a tragedy and this grew out of a crisis, but why not use it in good times and in sunny days like today?